What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and it is finally time to hunt ducks. Well, in a little bit, four days to be precise. We got the Breda 28 gauge A400 out. She's ready to sling some bismuth. Not excited about that, stay tuned. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do, first up, we got this little load right here, okay? This tiny little box contains 25 shells. Are you zoomed in on it? I am. It's two and three quarter, four shot bismuth, seven eighths payload. It's really hard to beat how good that pattern's in a 28 gauge. This is traveling 1350 feet per second. Now, if you've been around a while, you know I hate bismuth. I really hate bismuth because of one company. But anyways, what we're doing today, bismuth allows me to shoot turkey chokes. Um, I'm not really sure how to get bismuth to pattern good. I'm hoping it just shoots really good at 30 yards in this 28 gauge. So what I got is I got the Jebs full in here. It's going to be the first shot. And then I have the comp and choke, which this comes out to be an improved modified. So this may give us a little bit more lenient pattern, but I don't know. Bismuth is... It's a whole different animal. We could never get it to shoot good, but in the 28 gauge, I wanted the fours or twos, and I don't really want to shoot TSS because it's expensive. That's like bad. that's all there is to it. For the cheapest option we could find, it'd be 500 bucks for 100 shells or 450 or whatever it is. That is ridiculous. So I picked this a case of this up. So I'm hoping it shoots good. By no means is this cheap. This was like 400 and some for 250 shells, but it should last me through the season, so whatever. I guess you got to bite the bullet when you want something like a 28 gauge. We do have steel as well. I just want to see how this shoots, if the steel looks good. Moose just filmed his with his new 28 gauge. The steel did really good at 30 yards. So we'll see if this bismuth is worth it or if it's trash like previous experiences. But you can see the red dots off. We're in business. It's time. The shot cam, I go, I'm gonna have to swing this, charge it, get it ready for Saturday. I'm done talking, I wanna shoot something. Let's go. Okay, so we got the Jebs full. I believe this should be a really good pattern with bismuth. Now keep in mind, with bismuth, you can shoot out of turkey chokes. You can, because it's a really soft, fragile, pointless metal. So let's see. Left it, duck. Yep. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's eat. It may just be how the gun shoots to me, though. So I haven't put a pattern on paper without the reflex, so this will be a good learning curve to see how this gun shoots to me. Um, also, it may just look bad because it's bismuth. We'll see. Hey. Well, it's true, business sucks. Never. So we've got the comp and chokes going in right now. This is uh, an improved modified. So I can shoot steel with this as well. So if this doesn't pattern to my liking or to what I deem ethical to kill waterfowl with, we'll run the steel through it. But We'll shoot this right target. The only difference is we got the comp and choke in. Once again, Breda A400 28 gauge explore action. Let's go. That almost looks too tight, but we shall see. There's not much you can do with bismuth. You just got to take a good pattern when you get them. So we're going to grow down there. Sharpie some circles. Let's see how it did. I hate bismuth, I really do. All right, once again, that was the heavy bismuth, number four, seven eighths payload going 1350. It did exactly, kind of, pretty much what we expected. So here's the Jebs full. This is a turkey choke. This is at 30 yards. You can see here, uh, it looks like I'm a little high on this. and. Really, this is not a bad pattern for bismuth. You only got a couple flyers, but I will say this. There's a ton of fractured hits 
I don't see, actually, I don't see as many over here as I did over there. There's like three or four in there. Because, yeah, that's a lot less. Because there's a lot more fractured pellets over there. But you can see if this was centered up, you would have this to work with. And it's not a bad pattern. Because, once again, you can't look at it like a turkey pattern. You need leeway when you're hunting ducks. Especially where we decoy birds. The swamp hole I was just scouting this morning, there's a ton of ducks there. Where our shots are going to be is a range of 5 yards to 25. 30 is going to actually be the outer limits of what we're shooting, just based on our setup and what we're hunting by itself. So this is kind of the furthest we'll shoot. And as I look at that and I, and I think about it that way, this is a good pattern because of the fact where we're going to be shooting birds is going to be in closer. So you can see this condensing down. And having a pattern like this is going to give me some leeway. Yeah, there's some voids in there, but with bismuth, you got to take what you can get because it sucks. But this right here is going to kill me ducks where we hunt. If I was going to shoot longer distances more often, I'd take my 12 gauge or my 20 gauge or my 410 with TSS and I'd be fine. But for where we're going Saturday, I almost think this is going to be what I go with, just a first hunch. But let's look at the comp and choke and see how that did. All right, guys, so this is the improved modified comp and choke out of the Breda A400 Explorer Action 28 gauge, 30 yards, same heavy bismuth, number fours. Let's look at it. Dead duck. That's all we have to say. Anyways, so you can see here, this has got a little bit more flyers. I actually, I missed one right there. That's unacceptable. I wasn't even looking that high. Oh, that's a bad flyer. But you can see this, I didn't, I didn't cover because that's a, a fragment. That's a fragment. That's a fragment. That's another one. It's just bismuth. Oh, there's another one. Bismuth is such a brittle, Horrible metal. There's a reason why we don't make anything out of bismuth. But looking at this pattern, once again, with the mindset of this is actually the farthest we'll shoot, all this is going to condense down. And you can see this does give you a, a pretty good pattern. There is some voids, but that's all going to shrink up and get that pattern in tight where we shoot birds. But when I look at them side by side in my mindset with a 28 gauge, I will take a slightly tighter pattern and close because I want the most of the shots to hit the animal. The bismuth does not penetrate. We've done tests. We had to remove them. Y'all know why for those who've been around a while. But it does not give you that extra penetration versus steel. It's just physically impossible. I Look at that. Those are fragments too. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> they're everywhere <laughs> so i'm looking at this i'm i re actually really want a, a little bit tighter pattern at 30 because well not too tight but i'm looking to have a tight pattern where i'm killing ducks and as we step side by side you can see here we have the jebs full turkey choke that pattern is actually pretty dang good at 30 this is as far as we will shoot condensed down that's going to slug them then over here Oh, there's a skeeter on there. Do you see that? You whack it off. Did you see it? Oh, you splat that son of a bitch. Ain't the only thing dying on this bay. There's a skeeter and a duck. Got it. He's on my Sharpie. Anyways, so you can see the comp and choke. It would do about the same. So really, you couldn't lose here. But what I'm seeing is they're pretty tight, but there was a hell of a lot less fragments in the, in the jebs than the comp and choke. I would like to protect that bismuth as much as physically possible. So I'm going to go with the Jebs. Also, it's just not as shiny as the Comp and Choke. So that's another thing too. But either of these really would, would work well. I'd, I'd be curious to see that Comp and Choke with steel and see how that does. But I think I'm going to roll with the Jebs full turkey choke and the heavy bismuth fours and just hammer ducks. But once again, we just wanted to get our 28 gauge on paper so we know what to expect. I, I think a lot of waterfowlers just buy shells, throw them in their gun and go. Moose and I were the same. 
when we first started. And then when you miss ducks, you blame the ammo. Guys, pattern your setup so you know what's ethical. You know when you're not going to cripple ducks. And also, if you're shooting bismuth, please, please note that it is not TSS. The difference between bismuth and steel, it's like 9.86 grams per cc for bismuth. Steel, 7.86. It's 1.94 grams per cc difference. Bismuth is not going to allow you to shoot that much further ethically. Also, it's really fragile. It, when it hits the animal, well, in this case, the duck or a goose, it's, it loses a lot of energy because the shot deforms. They say it's better wound channels, but this ain't a broadhead test. You're losing energy. So please do not think a bismuth is going to extend your range. TSS will, bismuth will not. So take ethical shots, pattern your setups, know what your gun's capable of doing before you go afield. A lot of people take it for granted, but I think we deserve to put in the extra work for the animals that we pursue. I know all my little duckies down there are very thankful that I know what my setup can do. So when I, when they come in, I know if I can kill them or not. Anyways, very excited for October 15th. I'm not sure when I'm going to get this video on the channel. I'm going to try to get them this week before season so you guys know what we're rolling with. But if not, it'll be the week after. So... Not sure when these are going to drop. Anyways, guys, there's going to be a ton more with 28 gauge, both waterfowl, turkey, all the good stuff. We got a hunt coming. It's going to be really busy on the channel. So please, if you haven't yet, smash thumbs up button for this video. Share these videos with all the buds that waterfowl hunt and could use, you know, these pattern tests to better their setup in any way. Or if you're curious about a certain gun choke, Load combo, we're the channel. We do everything in a no BS, honest performance talks, the rest walks manner. We don't care about the brand, price, or any of that. We just care about performance, and that's all we should ever care about. So hopefully we can help you find your perfect setup. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, because there's going to be duck hunts, goose hunts, deer hunts, pattern tests, broadhead tests. We got a ton of stuff coming to the channel. The notification bell is going to let you know about the uploads when they happen. We are going to be switching to two videos a week sometime soon when all the seasons are open. It's just, there's a lot of time that goes into three videos a week. It's, it's insane, but enough rambling. I'm ready to kill ducks. Hopefully you guys are having a good duck season if it's in, a good deer season. Let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you thought of these, what you would take, all the good stuff. As always, guys, it's Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. We'll catch you on the next one. Show me that duckle.